Hi there, today I received some goodies from France. So let's open up the box and find out what it is. Oh, look at this. A memory foam. And here they are. Power supplies, second hand from France. I got four for 50 euros. And uh, they are 0 to 18 volts, I think. Yeah, 0 to 18 volts, 1.2 amp. And uh, they're really, really solidly built. Uh, not this kind of cheap Chinese junk. And I got four of them, and they are stackable. So, yeah, really, it couldn't be any better. Yeah, so now we are upstairs in my electronics uh, lab. And um, here's one of the power supplies that I just uh, got today. Um, this is uh, obviously second hand and I got four of them. Um, but it's really solid and sturdy. And if you compare it to this Chinese one uh, that I've actually had for several years now, um, this one is so much more solidly built. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a brick dunny. Uh, if, if you compare, they're both quite similar in their specifications. The Chinese one is uh, 1 to 15 volts and up to 2 amp and the French one is uh, 1 to 18 volts up to 1.2 amp. So um, on spec, on paper, the Chinese one is better. But uh, if you look at them in real life, uh, the other one is uh, definitely a better product. Um, so I got four of these. Uh, if I just put this one away again, I got four of these. French second-hand power supplies for 50 euros, uh, which I think is a real bargain. That's about the same price as one of these Chinese ones. Yeah, so um, this is the first one that I've plugged in, and uh, we should just check and make sure that everything is working. And uh, in fact, if you speak French, it says um, volt and ampere. I guess this is for the meter switching and uh, this should be the power switch um, obviously the power outputs are these screw terminals and there's a limiter which is a current limiter um, apparently this is set by uh, by screwdriver but okay that's fine with me the voltage adjustment there are two parts for the voltage adjustment there's a there's a fine adjust and a coarse adjust I'm not too keen on this arrangement really um, because you always end up with a fine adjust in one either set to maximum and minimum and then you have to move back and forth a little bit to get the correct voltage. Generally for power supply applications uh, plus minus 4 or 5% off is okay so I don't think I need the fine adjust. Um, so anyway um, let's measure the output voltage and see if the scale up here is uh, is linear and is measuring correctly so let's turn it on Boop, the light comes on uh, I'm not sure how old this thing is this thing is but there's, it's not an LED it looks like a light bulb um, so yeah interesting but uh, let's plug this thing in and turn it down set the meter on the on the power supply to voltage like that and uh, turn it all the way down and my voltmeter says uh, 100 millivolts and this meter the built-in meter says basically zero so let's try and turn it up a little bit um, there's a little bit of parallax error but this is about 5 volts <laughs> 5 volts here and 499 here you couldn't get it any better <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't do better than that so really nice and uh, let's move up to 10 volts that's about here and this says 9.95 so really 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 accurate piece of kit and 15 volts <laughs> it's bang on really amazing um, yeah what else do we have we have a test button I think for the current limiter yeah that brings it all down again and back up so that works good um, let's try the amp range and uh, I have, I happen to have a 9 watts 10 ohm resistor and uh, let's try and measure some amps here. 
let's turn it on my multimeter says 0 amp and this one says 0 amp and uh, let me turn it up whoops my meter here says about 0.4 amps and this one says 0.4 so that's nice, let's turn it up. Okay, now the current limiter sets in. Uh, it says just below 0.6 amp and my my multimeter is just below 0.6 amp. So it works exactly as, uh, as it should. So really happy, four of these for 50 euros. And these are stackable as well. So yeah, really, really a good buy. Yeah, and I'm back again and I thought we should just uh, take it apart and see the inside of this thing um, and maybe compare it to the Chinese one so let's flip it over the screws are on the back um, looks like there are just four of them oh, and then you should be able to slide right up let's try no yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oops, it slides right out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. I wonder how old this thing is. Uh, can you look inside? Okay, if you look inside, the light is not too good. Maybe over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we got it. Okay, so at the back here, there's a massive transformer. It's really massive. Uh, unbelievably big. And uh, there's a little, I wouldn't even call it a PCB, it's just some some studs where the components are wired onto. Um, these are, they are four big, I'm not sure we can see that. Uh, yeah, there are four really big rectifier diodes here and some capacitors. <coughs> the electrolytics are still looking good. Yes, one here just after the rectifier bridge and there are a couple of other bigger ones uh, down here I don't know if that's... oh there we go, that's visible just down here and there's a massive a really massive uh, meter so apart from that the, the, the only thing that we can see now is there's a PCB down here and uh, yeah, it's full of metal can op amps, loads and loads of them. Uh, it would be maybe interesting to maybe interesting to take a look at the or trace out the schematic and see how it how they do it. But definitely, they are they are all for working and they are very easy to repair if there's any any problems. Um, and actually. I think I ruined the warranty void sticker here. Um, at the back, if you look at the back, there's a, a switch that switches between 127 and 220 volt. There's a fuse input. And there is a table here, which is hard to see on this one, but is uh, quite visible on one of the, on some of the others, uh, which is for remote control. <clears throat> so you have to solder some wires to these four tabs here and uh, with the relay or whatever you can uh, remote control this power supply but yeah it's a really really nice power supply it's a little bit old the technology it looks like from the 70s really um, but it's uh, it works really well um, something I just noticed down here there's a big coil resistor a big uh, I guess it's a shunt for the amp meter. Um, yeah, but it's really well made, very nice, uh, uh, very nice power supply. Um, yeah. So if we compare it to the Chinese one, I, I might just as well open that one while we are at it. And uh, and we'll see the difference in quality I'm quite sure okay so let's open it up should slide out which it does yes 
and look look at the transformer in that one look at the difference unbelievable I'm not sure there's been that much change in uh, winding technology from the 1970s to the to the noughties really uh, look at the size of that transformer and look at the size of that one and if this one is rated 1.2 amps and this one is rated 2.0 now I, I, I won't believe it I really won't believe it um, unbelievable really uh, but anyway let's just take a look at the, the Chinese one uh, There's a, uh, what do we have here, 2N3055 power transistor sticking out through the back. Uh, there's no insulation here, it's just to drill the hole and, uh, you know, just lucky that it still works. Um, the, power, the power input cable is really flimsy. I don't know how many square millimeter, but it's really flimsy. It looks like it can, can, can barely handle the current. Um, and the front is a yeah it's a typical low cost product it's um is it visible yeah maybe it's a single sided PCB with a meter chip I suppose um, and it goes down to uh, the regulator board the regulator itself there's a there's not much to see it's a diode bridge and there's an IC which uh, is surely a quad of um, uh, 1732 I, I haven't looked it up but I, it must be an op amp of some sort a couple of transistors and wires to the big power transistor at the back here and then there's a lot of trimmers um, the only thing really noteworthy here is an interesting mechanical uh, range switch I haven't seen that before it's a rag and pinion kind of thing I'm not sure if you can see it sitting down here there's a there's a wheel here and there's a there's a rag and there's a rag around rack down there's a wheel here and there's a rack down here so when you turn the knob this thing slides back and forth um, I guess you can buy that ready-made but I just have never seen it before uh, and yeah I just noticed down here I'm not sure whether you can see it down here look at these uh, power resistors they're just soldered in bodged wires in uh, sitting on the underside of the PCB together with some uh, electro electrolytic capacitors uh, that's really not that's really not nice design uh, that is really crummy uh, not sure if you can see it. I don't have a clean down there. You have some resistors, power resistors, uh, and some E cap across the across the the power outputs. Here. So yeah, uh, that's a teardown of both, and uh, I know which one I want, and, and that's not, and that's not the Chinese one. Yeah, and by the way, before I forget, uh, this French monster of a power supply is made by uh, Sodilec, S-O-D-I-L-E-C, and uh, you can still get them on eBay if, if you're interested. Uh, I'll put the link down uh, below. And uh, the Chinese one um, is available on eBay in, uh, in a lot of different, under a lot of different names. Um, the one I have is called the Xiao Xin or something like that, I'm not sure I pronounce it correctly Xiao Xin um, but basically they're all the same um, so yeah that is my video today so see you again soon